Hello guys, Sean here with another Pirate Mod video. Uh, today I got a uh, new case in that I'm going to be modding and I just wanted to kind of give like a quick overview and talk about some of the things that I was thinking about doing on this case. Uh, as you can see it's a Corsair 350D. It's all black and you know I've been uh, building a lot of computers in all black cases. I'm starting to get a little tired of it. So I think I might have to uh, put a little bit of color on this. Haven't quite decided on the color yet, but uh, that'll come in time. So let me just uh, kind of go over this 350D case and uh, tell you guys what I'm going to do. Well, as you can see, I got the non-window version. Uh, I thought that the window version was a little bit, the window was a little too big, so I figured I'd uh, mod my own window in so that way I can customize it to my liking and I don't have to show off uh, some of the areas of the internals that I don't want uh, to see. So on the front panel I th um, I'm not sure if I want to leave it as the brushed aluminum or not yet. Uh, I was thinking about maybe changing it. I saw uh, the MMPC Tech uh, video they did for the, the improved airflow. Uh, that might be a good idea to try but I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Um, thought about maybe carbon fiber instead of the brush aluminum, but like I said, I haven't really nailed down exactly what I want to do. So let me go ahead and uh, show you. I'm sure everybody's seen case reviews on this before, but the uh, front panel comes off nicely. Got a big filter. Got uh, room in there for uh, two 120s or two 140 millimeter fans. Uh, so I was thinking maybe putting a 280 rad in there, but uh, I'm not quite sure it'll fit yet. So I'm gonna have to do some measurements and, and take a look and see if that might fit. You got the two five and a quarter inch bays, headphone microphone, little reset switch here, power switch, and then two USB 3s on the front. Um, I'll go ahead and turn this over and Pop the case open. Let you guys see. I've already installed uh, motherboard in there, so get a kind of visual on room and stuff inside the case. Um, it's not too bad, um, but uh, there's not much uh, room in the top of the case for uh, radiators. I think with the fans installed, I've measured it on this particular motherboard uh, because the eight pin. Uh, EPS header is right there at the top of the board. Max you can get in there is 30 <clears throat> millimeter rad before you start hitting that uh, 8 pin connector. Uh, I've, I've been looking at some other motherboards, some options, and uh, there's a few new ones that, that I was thinking would work really well. Uh, gigabyte boards uh, for the uh, Haswell CPU. Um, I don't quite remember the number on one, but uh, it, it had really good clearance on the top of the board. They didn't have large heat sinks uh, in the way, and, this, and the CPU power connector was uh, in a little bit better position for the top radiator. So, going off to the side, you can see the uh, SSD mount that they got. And it's like a quick release little lever that you can pull out, and uh, these. Can, I'm assuming you can you're going to be able to buy these from Corsair and you can snap on as many as you like I think here you could probably fit nine or so in there so that would be cool if you want to have a large SSD uh, array or something uh, the two uh, hard drive bays um, are pretty standard with the uh, the, ra the rails excuse me and then uh, this whole thing will come out so that you can use the front for a radiator. Um, again the 280 radiator uh, not too sure it's going to fit in here I think uh, you're, lengthwise you're looking at uh, 340 millimeters or so total and uh, seeing here this is uh, 300 so you're looking at you know you'll be interfering in your five and a five and a half inch base up here so you know that would if you're gonna try to put a 280 in there you definitely have to do a lot of modding maybe have to remove this completely not too sure yet 
So we'll see what happens. As far as uh, top radiators, uh, I did some research online. The thickest you can go uh, here again, 30 millimeters. And the only 280 red I could find that was 30 mil thick was the, uh, let's see, what was that? Magic Cool radiator. I'm not quite sure the, the, the exact name of it, but it's a Magic Cool radiator. And, uh, you know, performance-wise, I think on the reviews, it, it didn't perform very well. But again, it doesn't cost very much. So the, the performance to dollar ratio is probably pretty good. Uh, you can see here the power supply. You won't have any problems. Got plenty of room for power supply length here. Um, plenty of cable routing grommets. Um, behind the motherboard tray is... Uh, okay room i mean you you're gonna have a little bit of problems with some of your thicker cables as far as getting the panel closed once everything is cabled up back there but it shouldn't be too difficult so i'll go ahead and uh that's about it all i wanted to say on there i was going to show you guys a couple other things that i was thinking about as far as mods go um, i was thinking you know the top panel i don't really like that mesh opened up on the side so I got myself one of these uh, radiator grills from MMPC Tech and I was going to maybe paint this and uh, install that up on the top let me see if you can't really see it up here let me see if I can adjust my camera get a better angle on that so that's not too bad so that that is a possibility to get that on there. Maybe uh, maybe trim off some of this excess material so that you get a more free airflow through there. That might work out well. I haven't decided if I really want to do that or not. I'm I'm was thinking about maybe trying to mod in a, a 45 mil thick rad in here, but you know again that's gonna you're gonna add a good 10 to 15 mils of space on the top. So it might look kind of funny. You'd have, I'd have to work that out if I really wanted to do that. So I'll go ahead and cut this video off here. This was just a quick hands-on of the uh, Corsair 350D. Kind of give you an idea of some of the, the things I had in mind. And uh, I hope to uh, get modding on this pretty soon. So uh, we'll see about uh, what we can do with this case. See you guys soon.